I'm Jennifer Wall. Follow me. My name is Logan Cushton Murray. Follow me. I'm Annabeth Wyndham. Follow me. I'm Fiona Cameron. Follow me. I'm Dot Sim. Follow me. My name is Yoko Isawa. Follow me. I'm Cathy Miles and I make uh, three dimensional drawings predominantly of birds. <laughs> Um, I'm going to make a robin out of wire, um, fake flowers, paintbrush, tin and feather and iron binding wire. First stage is to make the bird shape out of the wire. Um, originally I trained in silversmithing and jewellery so I got used to working quite uh, finely. I did a lot of sort of bigger scale work using silversmithing techniques and often they try to incorporate character and a bit of automata but um, the process I found was a bit slow and the real thing that I was interested in was the drawing and I found the best vehicle to pursue this was using the wire because it was quick and free and easy to use so I sort of simplified everything and went back to basics and that's where the wire came in. All the shapes that I make are slightly different according to the bird's activity. Um, I never do it, the same thing twice. It, it all depends on your mood and frame of mind. So, yeah, if I'm in an evil frame of mind, I'll tend to make an evil bird <laughs> sometimes. Um, but yes, yeah, so you can never draw draw the same picture twice. Um, so I complete the outline using the pliers, and then I'll join it with a spot weld. Uh, in one corner and um, it welds the two pieces together. Um, the next stage is to make some feet for the robin. So again this is just using the pliers and wire cutters. I bend forks in wire and then weld it to another bit of wire trim them and then bend the feet a bit to make them look like claws so I attach the two legs together slip them between the body and then attach the legs to the body by welding another wire in the middle of the legs. I've always liked character and I've always sort of like looking at things and investigating things and sort of creating games for myself and birds sort of happened by accident. It was uh, during a, a visit to South End when I got stuck on the end of a, a very long pier with a very boring man. Uh, talking at me so in order to escape from this very boring man I started to look at the birds and realized that they could actually potentially be a, a very good source of inspiration. I started to imagine how they would view this very boring man <laughs> and then I started to imagine conversations that they would have with each other and how they view the world and it sort of developed from there. Uh, the robin is part of a series of garden birds and within the Garden Birds series I've also got um, a blue tit and a dunnock and I'm hoping to make a nuthatch as well because they're quite colourful but I tend to make the birds in series so I have different bodies of, of work uh, each different series I try and progress the work and make changes because I find it more exciting that way, sort of to keep me more interested. So the legs are welded to the body and adjusted. And then these days I try and like to make them stand up. So I'll move the 
the body and the legs. In theory, stands. I've never really liked birds that much. <laughs> My dad's a bird watcher, so that's probably why. And I uh, used to think he was a pretty sad individual <laughs> for, uh, for watching birds, but now I'm going with him to Yorkshire to go bird watching, so <laughs> it's a bit of a full circle. Yeah. But bird watchers themselves are, are funny creatures. <laughs> um, now I'm going to start making the robin's breast, which is made up of. Um, paintbrush and fake flower. Um, originally with the, the bit I used for the paintbrush I used a bottle brush but ran out of bottle brushes and couldn't find them anymore so I had to make uh, my own bottle brush out of a paintbrush. So first of all I'll trim some paintbrush off. So then I get um, thin wire in the middle Twist it round at the bottom and then twist it round at the top and use the pliers to tighten it so hopefully the paintbrush bristles start to go round in the shape of a bottle brush. Like that. That's then trimmed. And that's the first part made. Then we get um, some of the fake flour. And I chop, um, chop the end off. drill, drill into the fake flower, and then put the fake bottle brush into the fake flower to make the breast. With the nature of found objects, uh, it's very difficult to get a constant supply, <laughs> so they will change according to what's available to me.